Good morning, this is Don McGrath, co-founder of Speakers Pathway Coalition. Just thought I'd share, share something that's on my mind this morning. So yesterday I was uh, talking to someone, I was on a coaching call with them, helping them on their talk that they're, they're giving in March. And the, the talk is about the, the rapidness of change in the workplace and how for people who are you know, in their 40s and 50s, how the, the pace of this change is really, really fast and how it's, it's getting increasingly difficult to keep up and remain competitive. And this person has done a lot of research, researched uh, and interviewed all kinds of CEOs, business leaders, people from all over the world, academics, really trying to understand, you know, this problem, which is the, the pace of change really obsoleting and making it very, very difficult for people to remain relevant in their jobs within companies. And so it was actually a fascinating topic. I, I, I was a leader in Fortune 500 companies for close to 30 years. So I, I've seen this firsthand. So it's, it's, I, I was engaged with them on a couple of different levels. One level as a speaking coach, helping them to understand their language, trying to understand their, their big idea, their call to action, where there might be opportunities for engaging the audience in a, in a really cool way. So I was engaged on that level. But as I was reviewing their talk, I, I was also engaged at a different level, uh, a level of wondering, you know, what, what is the solution? I mean, they're, one of the things they were proposing was, you know, it's kind of your responsibility to remain relevant, to stay technically up to date, to be looking at the horizon of where the industries are going, where your company is going, and make sure that you receive that technical training to stay at the forefront. Because as, as they, they were said in their talk, you know, it's, if you've got, you know, 30 years of irrelevant experience, and there's somebody else who has a year of relevant experience, well, who's the expert? And I thought that was right on point. But it, it strikes me, you know, having, having been there, how difficult it is to, to keep up technically. I mean, think the, the rapidness of change is just so high. And, you know, I think the, the way that many of us who are in our 40s and 50s, you know, the way, the way we've been trained and the way our brains work, it's very difficult for us to respond to, to all the technology and to stay on top of these things. So while that certainly is a challenge and that is an approach of, you know, just constantly retraining yourself and becoming ravenous about technology and change, it strikes me that that's the hard way. And would you rather do things the hard way or the easy way? I don't know about you, but I know when I'm, when I'm rock climbing and I, I'm coaching rock climbers, I coach them to be the laziest climber at the cliff, to try to do things the easiest ways possible. And so I, I'm always looking for the, the easiest way to, to do something. And so that, you know, I, I was having some different ideas. And one of the things that I, that I learned certainly in, in my career in a very similar kind of a, a situation is that I, you know, that was the wrong approach for me was to try to be the best engineer. Just, you know, it just wasn't going to happen. So what, what, I, what I did is I became an influencer. I became the person that was able to understand how things really get done. I got to understand, you know, who really gets the work done, who are the influencers, who are vendors that we can partner with, who are suppliers we can partner with who are key customers we can partner with and really working on becoming that influencer and that people connector that network. So that, that's one solution. So I actually ended up taking another solution in the long run. And that was instead of doing the hard way of trying to stay technically, you know, doing things that are unnatural for me, what I ended up doing was following my passion doing things the easy way, following the energy. And that was becoming a writer, becoming a speaker, becoming a speaking coach, putting together courses, writing books, 
And so I, I, I really kind of wonder if, you know, even though it may seem like the, the easiest path is to try to keep your job, I wonder if it's actually an easier path to try to get out of your job as quickly as possible, right? By using your unique gifts, by using your unique experiences. You know, that, 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 that quote about experience, you know, having irrelevant experience in the job. Well, when it comes to your life, there is no irrelevant experience. Think about that. There is no irrelevant experience when it comes to your unique struggles, your unique, the things you've spent time on, your unique accomplishments, the uniqueness of you and how you can take those experiences and help other people who ha are looking for solutions that you already solved. Like it took me 10 years to get where I am in terms of my writing and my speaking and, and helping others do the same, creating products, uh, kind of building up their own platforms that they can speak from with their message to go change other people's lives. It took me 10 years. And so along, along that path, I, I've, I've learned a ton. And so, you know, why, whereas my job, in my last job I had, that might have been a relevant experience, but I turned it into a very relevant experience. And there's nothing more fun than working from this place of following your passion and following, you know, using your own unique life experiences to help other people. It's, it's nearly effortless. I'm, I'm shocked and amazed at how effortless it can be to help people who are struggling with the things that I struggle through that now for me just, you know, they're, they're in the rear view mirror and they're, they're quite simple and I can, I can explain those and break those down. So some, some food for thought. <clears throat> you may be, you know, here is a Thursday, you may be getting up getting ready to go to a job where you're having to work harder, you're having to do unnatural things, pressure is on you to change in ways that you necessarily don't want to change. And that may be a tough place to be. And it, it can put, it can feel very unnatural. It may feel like you're working against the energy in some of those cases where you're being forced to do things that you don't want to do, but you feel the need to it in order to keep the security of your job, well, you, you can continue to do that. You can continue to work against that energy and you continue to try to compete against people that have capabilities, are, are fresher out of school, that their minds are wired differently around technology. They're ravenous about technology, which is very natural for them. So they're following their passion. They're following their energy. And it's, look how effortless it is for them. You could try to be like them. But why? Why do it the hard way? You are uniquely qualified to be you. And in that, you are uniquely qualified to help so many people in the world. I was at a workshop once and I was sharing with a, a guy that I had been paired up doing an exercise with. And this was, this was about our value proposition. You know, what is our value proposition and how marketable are our ideas? And I told him what I was up to and he told me what he was up to. And I was voicing to him, you know, we were talking about concerns and challenges. And I said, you know, I'm not really sure that this, this program that I, I put together based upon my life experience as a rock climber, as a corporate leader, I'm not really sure I can help. I'm, I'm not sure how many people out, out there that, that I can help. And you know what he said to me? He was actually a German, so he said this in a German way that I can't say. But he looked at me and he said, Don, there are almost 8 billion, that's billion with a B, there are almost 8 billion people on the earth. Don't you think there's maybe like at least a million out there that need what you have? And, he, you know, that hit me like a ton of bricks. That hit me like a ton of bricks. So, and he said, you know, it, it's just about how to craft your message so you find those million people and attract them to you. It's pretty simple. 
And with that insight really, really helped me in crafting my message around that particular, that particular thing I was doing. So, you know, I, I, I really think that whatever, whatever your life experience is, you can use that to help so many people with 8 billion people and growing on the earth. I, I would challenge you to think that there's not thousands, if not millions of people out there who need exactly what you have. They need, they, they're out there and they're looking for it. They're searching. They're working really hard and they desperately need it. And so, yeah, you can, you can work at your job. You can try to be like people that you're not. You could try to compete in areas that are really, really, really hard. Or you could do the easy thing, I, I feel, and be you. And be uniquely you. And highlight those things that are uniquely you. And share your struggles. Share where you spent thousands of hours in those struggles and in that learning. Share your accomplishments. Share those things that you've learned. And you know, I found that when you're in that joy, when you're when you're in that, when you're in that, you know, I was just talking with somebody yesterday, somebody actually, actually I trained with and who, who I think a lot of, and I was talking about speaker's pathway and how, you know, I'm just finding so much joy every single day. And he said, you, you found it. You found it. You found your lane. You found precisely where you need to be. Yeah, I found it. So. And when you do that, it's effortless. It really is. It's effortless. You know, it's boundless energy. It's a boundless wisdom. I find since I've been in this lane, I've been finding, I've been taking my own consciousness, my own abilities to an explosive level, to an explosive level. So I know it's a Thursday morning. It's kind of early. You might be on your first cup of coffee. I'm actually on my second. Sylvia and I have some things to go do over at our ranch. But I'd like to leave this with you, that you may think and be all stressed out about how hard it is to keep up at your job. I would encourage you that maybe it's time to be thinking about your own uniqueness, about your own story, about the things that you can do that are uniquely you. Will it involve change? Yeah. Will there be challenges? Yeah. But guess what? No matter what you do, there's going to be challenges. I hate to break it to you. It's, it's just the way it's going to be. So you could take the hard way, the hard way, and uh, you know, try to do things that you're not, try to make decisions based upon who you're not, or you can make decisions based upon who you uniquely are, who you uniquely are, and help those people in the universe who are desperately out there seeking what you need. I feel that's the easy way. And it's your job to discover that. That's your job. No one else can tell you that. I can't tell you. Jim can't tell you. No one can tell you that. We can maybe help you uncover those things. We can help you uncover some of those uniquenesses so you can articulate them in your message. But it's, it's kind of up to you to take the action to start down that road. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this is something that you know is inside of you, that you're, you're tired of doing things the hard way, you're, you're tired of kind of trying to be people that you're not and compete in ways that are unnatural and unauthentic for you, there is another way. And if that way involves sharing your message, really leveraging your story, your life experiences that are uniquely you to find those people in the universe who desperately need what you have, well, we might be able to help. That's what we do. We help people who have a big message, who want to get it out in the world and attract people that, that they can help. Well, that's, that's what we do at Speaker's Pathway. So if, if you want to try to do things the easier way, and this sounds like something that, that you're interested in, you want to find out more, it's pretty doggone easy. You know how to get a hold of me. You know, you're watching this. You, therefore, you know you can message me. You can go to speakerspathway.com and find out more about it. Yeah, I see we've got some of our members in here. And so feel, I mean, I think some of the folks in, I, I see Joel's on, and Joel's only been with Speakers Pathway a very, very short time, uh, maybe, maybe less than a month or so. 
And I, I would argue to say I've been working with Joel a little bit, and and I, I think he's, you know, he's getting clarity every single day. Every single day he's getting clarity on the uniqueness he's bringing to the universe, and getting clarity on how he can have the mindset where he can actually use that to help so many people, so many people, and start doing things the easier way. So Joel, I really appreciate you. I appreciate your commitment to doing things the easier way and, and bringing your brilliance to the universe. So again, you can go to speakerspathway.com. You, you can, uh, <laughs> almost too much. Yeah, almost too much clarity, yeah. So you, know, you can go to speakerspathway.com. Also, people sometimes make fun of me because I will leave my personal cell phone for people to reach out and find more. That's because I'm in my lane. It's easy for me. And, and I want to talk to people. I want to get to know you. If this is knocking around in your head or if this video or others are resonating with you and you're ready to make a change, you're ready to start doing things the joyous way, you're ready to start doing things the easier way, then reach out to me. Here's my cell phone number. You got a pencil and paper? All right, here it is. Now, my personal cell phone. This doesn't go into any kind of a funnel. This goes to me. Okay. 970 uh, Four four three four three zero seven. Again, I get chastised by by people for giving out my personal cell phone on videos like this, but it's how I roll. All right. Well, I hope this got you thinking. I hope this uh, inspires you to see there might be an easier way, and inspires you like I was inspired ten years ago to to go down this path. And I, I hope this got you thinking and gets gets you realizing there there might be an easier way. So um, I, I've actually got to finish my coffee, get ready, and head off to the ranch. We've got some renovation to do. We've got some climbing to do. All right, so this is Don. Peace out.